Let's talk to Mike Eden, who's a uh, former chief scientific advisor with Pfizer. And we see these stark figures, they're reported in very sort of ponderous tones on the television. You know, we've had you know, 500 more deaths or 400, whatever it is on any given day. These are deaths with COVID, not of COVID. So you're going to have heart disease, you're going to have cancer. If you test positive for COVID, you still end up on these statistics, don't you? So this is what I'm saying. Everything you're being told, every scary fact and prediction from Witty and Valance, all hangs off the PCR test, which they have admitted they cannot tell what percentages of positives are false. The test is not to be trusted. Everything they're telling you about cases, admissions, people in ICU and deaths all pivot off this PCR test. When you do a PCR test, you basically amplify the amount of RNA, and that's called the cycle threshold. You can basically pick up a single copy of RNA in an individual. A cycle threshold of 35 or more, the chances of it being replication competent are minuscule. You almost never can culture virus from a 37 threshold cycle, even 36. You got to say, you know, it's just it's just dead nucleotides, period. People who've recovered from the virus and they're clinically well and you can no longer culture virus from a sample from from their mouth or airways still can be positive in the PCR test. And that's because, as you say, the test is not a test for virus. It's not a test for living virus. You can put in a threshold level which says you are infectious, which is a cycle threshold of about 25. And if you do that, you can pick up the people who are infectious. But the way we're deploying the test at the moment is in a sort of ragbag way that says whatever amount of RNA you've got on board, you are positive. A cycle threshold of 35 or more, the chances of it being replication competent are minuscule. And a cycle threshold above 35 generally is people who are not infectious. New infections. Daily infections. Rate of infections. And coronavirus infections. The second wave of infection about to break. And so if you were to go to, say, 40 cycles, you might get a positive result, but it might be a false positive. I would be very unhappy about a 40 cycle PCR. I would be very unhappy about a 40 cycle PCR. Yet NHS England documentation that has not been updated since January runs cycle thresholds to 45, which is identifying people who are not infectious.